what do you what would you take um, as authoritative uh, your interpretation of the Bible or something that a historian a scholar in biblical studies even though you happen to be secular would say I would definitely dismiss a secular scholar pretty much off the bat and well, I mean I, why? I mean I, would, why? I, I I will take certain things that they say but I it, it's like I have to take them with a grain of salt I mean because um, just, just so what's the reason from previous experience what's, I guess yeah what's the reason what's the reasoning experience. what's the reasoning there what's what's why um, would you choose um, background and um, background experience, experience. I, I don't know what that means. You don't have um, any expertise. I've actually in watched studies. a lot. Of, used to when I was um, before I ever came on Facebook. So if I would watch debates, particularly with Bart Ehrman, or particularly with other scholars, and I'd see them in the debates, and I would see what they were saying in the debates and stuff, and I'd kind of go back and look at the scripture they were referring to, and it didn't say exactly what they were saying. Um, Bart Ehrman used to do this a lot when he talk about something like Jarius' daughter and that he, he'd start trying to say it's a contradiction. Then you go back and look at it and uh, he said, well, did she die or was she just sick or whatever? And then you go back and look at scripture and you get the whole context. And I felt like he would kind of intentionally misrepresent scripture in those debates and stuff. And that's why I started just kind of taking what they uh, right. said with a grain of salt. So you're just presupposing that you know better than um, biblical scholars. Well, no, I just actually read the it. And then I'd actually watch them. Literally what you just said. Refuted by the refuted ones by they were debating. So, no, it wasn't just that. Well, that's really what it sounds like. It sounds like that given a choice between something a biblical scholar says that conflicts with your understanding of the Bible, you choose to retain, retain your understanding. I mean, couldn't you be wrong? Well, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it this way. If I'm listening to Bart Ehrman or James White on what scripture says, I'm going to trust more what James White says than Bart Ehrman. Yeah. I'm trying to get at why. Because one's an agnostic atheist and one's a Christian. I'm going, to trust really the, I'm going to trust the Christian over the agnostic yeah. atheist. Do you understand? Do you understand how, how 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 bad that kind of reasoning is? No, I don't understand. You don't understand? No. Right? It's basically just a prejudice on your part. It, it's you have you believe that someone who is secular, a secular historian, um, can't know the Bible. The way you do um i think that he has ulterior motives and if you go on youtube you can probably find it william lane craig actually did a lecture on bart ehrman you know he debated bart ehrman james white has debated bart ehrman but william lane craig did a lecture on bart ehrman in which he categorized he called bart good bart and bad bart and he said it depends on who Bart is speaking to. He said that Bart will be honest and upright and some when he's speaking with Christians and then when he's speaking with atheists, he, it's like he totally think, changes his, his approach and, I and appears your, to be more. So I, I just I understand think your criticism. Yeah, I think I that atheists have an, a motive just like think, Christians have a motive, but I would trust the well, you don't think that, motive over the atheist you, motive. You don't think that uh, Bill William Lane Craig has an ulterior motive yeah, too, and I trust his motive over Bart Ehrman's motive. He has he has literally said that he would choose uh, to believe in God for emotional reasons, for irrational emotional reasons. Over, yeah, like, that's he's literally why I said trust that. him. He's honest. That's not honesty. That is honesty. You're not. That's literally get, being you're not dishonest. Not going to get Bart Ehrman to admit that. No, because he would choose over he rational not, reasons, not, not emotional not admit ones. That I'm, I, I would deny God for emotional reasons when I know He would. You don't know that. Oh, I yeah, I'm I am one hundred percent confident He would. Confidence isn't knowing. But at least, at least William Lane Craig was upfront about that, and to me, that increases his level that I could trust what he says. No. 
If somebody says, yeah, you know, I'm going to dishonestly, I'm going to dishonestly choose to believe in religion despite any kind of rep, any he evidence. He yes, he did. He for emotional reasons. Yes. He, that's not yes, dishonesty. Yes. That's being honest. Yes, it is. How yes, is that it is. Mean? Okay, so what if he what if he were to say he that claims um, to be, he claims to be he claims to be an intellectual yeah. okay. and then he said he, admits that he lowers his epistemic bar for Christianity. I don't even see how that's intellectually dishonest oh, to be honest with you. I mean, it that is doesn't intellectually make sense to me. dishonest. Okay, because so, he tries to make rational arguments for Christianity and then admits to lowering his epistemic bar to believe in Christianity. That's intellectually yes. dishonest. Absolutely. I don't that's think that's saying. intellectually dishonest at all. I think that is up front and forthright, and it's why I would actually trust him. Be, being over up front about your Scott. dishonesty, uh, being up front about uh, your yeah, dishonesty I mean, you doesn't make dishonesty. He's up front about it. Yes, least he's up front about yes, it. Yes, it is. Dishonesty. I mean, see, see, Brenda, I know, I, I, I would about guarantee you any atheist on this stage, even if they had all the evidence in the world, would reject God for emotional reasons. No. If I had you good, if I all. had, if I had good evidence, you do not know that at all. If I had good evidence, you know, I would change my beliefs to be in line with the evidence. What do you mean you change your beliefs? What does that mean? What the fuck? Do you not understand English? I would change my beliefs if I was provided with. I don't think if I was provided would, with Brenda. evidence that I hate to say it, but I don't think you would. Well, well, fuck you. You don't have any right to tell me what I would do. Well, I mean, I'm just entitled to my opinion. Don't sit there. Don't sit there and tell me. I'm don't sit there and to try to gaslight. Don't, don't gaslight me. Don't tell well, me I'm what I honest, think. Friend. I don't think you. Would. I, I've had enough conversation with you. I think. I, you, I don't I give don't a shit what you think. So I just don't. Think I think you would. I, Matt. I think I am the best one to know what I would do. Right? If I was given uh, strong evidence. That let's say Thor existed, right? I'm there out in the desert with the scientists, and he comes down through the bi the bifringent bridge, right, and picks up the hammer that nobody else can, and and there's sparks flying off of it. I would be strongly motivated to change my view and to think that maybe the the myth mythology about Thor is based on truth. Yes, I would change my beliefs. Well, you know, I actually believe you there, Brenda. I think you probably would. What I'm saying is I don't think you would change your beliefs to believe in the God of Scripture. No, that's not true. If, if, if the shoe was on the other foot, if I had strong evidence in favor of Jesus Christ, a deity, right, who could work miracles, I would believe it. Okay, well, I mean, look, I'll just take you at your word yeah. here. I, yeah, I simply say, picked Thor as as a neutral um, I will, as a yeah, neutral skeptic, example. I'll try to take you at your word here, right? So maybe maybe I I could be I could be convinced that perhaps uh, Allah uh, that that um, Muhammad was was the prophet of Allah, right? I could have there could be some kind of evidence which would convince me to change my views. From it simply being um, a, a mythological tale told by people a long time ago into being something factual, I would need evidence, and there could be such evidence. It could exist. What do you think that evidence might look like? To um, in, the, in the case of Muhammad, uh, so it was the angel Gabriel who gave him, who helped him to write it, the, the Quran, right? So probably testimony from the angel Gabriel would really go a long way to help me change my mind. What about just a God in general? What do you think that evidence might look like? Just, just curious. What are you looking for? Well, let's say that I ran into Satan or one of his demons. The, the existence of Satan and his demons would be good evidence that possibly the rest of the story is also true and that maybe I should think about um, uh, you know this 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 conflict between um, heaven and hell and that maybe I should I should think about there being um, good angels and, and and a God if I meet 
bad demons and Satan, right? So I would make the, I would make the, it would, it would, it would cause me to question my understanding of the world. And I would think, well, maybe this is, there is these two factions, heaven and hell, who are battling each other. Or just meeting with an angel, uh, or meeting with Jesus Christ, or God himself, right? Or having a demonstration of miraculous power. These would alter my confidence in my current understanding. What if you um, met up with a demon parading around as an angel of light, as scripture says, and this these evil spirit, demonic spirit, was able to call fire down from heaven uh, and bring things to life like idols and stuff like that and perform miracles, uh, do you think you would be likely to believe that that is God? That would probably uh, convince me. I, I would be convinced if I could witness such examples of miraculous yeah, yeah, power, be, then I would have sure, to. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm just going to answer your yeah, question. You're just I would describing, have to change. Aren't you just describing Laplace's demon? No, I'm actually describing what Revelation 13 says will happen in the future. Right, right. Like, so, I mean, but it's a skeptical scenario, Matt. Basically, well, like it's a, a, you just what you just described could happen to you, skeptical, right? I mean, it's right, funny that like if, 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 if a demon shows up, if a demon shows up as an angel biblical. of light and then it's tells the you um, something that is like untrue, but how would you Correct. how would you know that it wasn't an angel of the Lord? But it's so convincing you that wouldn't you believe it, would you? Yeah, you would just believe for the wrong reasons, right? Yeah, I mean, according to what Brenda's looking for, Brenda would well, be the perfect candidate for the what you're, prophet, the Antichrist. No, but so what, what, what like, no, so not, Brenda, not so Brenda, so Brenda learns about this this demon, right? But she thinks it's an angel. So then she goes to church and commits herself to to Jesus, right? Mm, she still no, believes, would, but for the wrong reason. Not according to scripture, right? Not, so you're saying that it's impossible it for someone to be convinced. It wouldn't be that Brenda would actually go to a Christian church and start worshiping the Christian God. So you changed you why, changed why the you scenario, think? Matt, to could to what would convince me that I was mistaken in my current Correct. beliefs to to whether or not I could be deceived by a sufficiently powerful a supernatural no, entity that was maybe you. and the character. No, no, no. You asked me if you asked me if I could be and deceived you just have to by an evil into what Rev Matt. Was. Matt, let me finish my sentences. Matt, let me finish. I'm just saying you fell so, into what Rev Matt. Was. Just let me finish my okay. sentences. Right? You asked whether I could be deceived by an evil demon posing as a good angel. Right? That's different than than simply my meeting an angel or a demon or a god or or Satan. That's that's a different question. Well, it just so hap happens the criteria that you're asking for is exactly what, according to Revelation 13, you would get. Uh, again, it's no different than the criteria you have. No, it is. I didn't believe. Yeah, it is. Because I watch life. What criteria? What criteria do you have for, for determining? I didn't see. How do you know? It's a miracle. How do you know you're not deceived? I'm not a Christian because I believed in a miracle like you're asking for, or met an angel, or anything like that. Do, but that's could you be asking. deceived? That's what you want. According to could you be deceived? Thirteen. That's what you're going to get. Could you be deceived, Matt? Asking me if I could be deceived? No. You can't be deceived. <laughs> nope. I claim epistemic certainty. Certainty. It's not just, actually. That's not, not a thing. Jesus. It, it, certainty is just. It is if you believe God exists. Conf, confident doesn't translate to you not being able to be deceived. Um. But I mean, Brenda, do you know? Do you understand what I just said there? I don't think you grasped it. Yeah, I, I think. You're probably right. I did not grasp that. You're, you're absolutely okay. right about that. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying that the criteria you're looking for is a criteria you'll get if you're alive when the Antichrist comes. And you'll be, yeah, but that's undetermined. You'll right? just be worse than the Antichrist. That hasn't happened If you yet. go with that. That's, that's, I mean, 
That's all I'm saying. I'm I'm curious, Matt. Are you saying you no longer believe that you could be a brand in the vat, or or I've never be- you at I've now? never believed I could be a brand in the vat. Wait, so Matt, four days ago you said you couldn't be sure you want. A I turtle. said it was logically possible that I'm a brain in the vat. Well, right, but, but I mean, you literally told me that you could be a turtle. You said you couldn't be a turtle, Matt. You you weren't sure that you couldn't be a turtle four days ago. No, the question was, can I convince Tom that I'm not a turtle? I said no. So I never had No, I said, could you justify... I said, could you justify you're not a turtle? That means to yourself Oh, also, to me, you yes, no. absolutely. I thought you meant to you. I guess I missed it. I thought you said, could you justify you're not a turtle? I took that as justifying to you. That's why I said no. Because you believe it's logically possible... You're talking to a turtle right now. I couldn't justify why I'm not a turtle to you, if you believe that's logically possible. So wait, you, you couldn't be wrong. You couldn't be wrong about God's existence. Is that what you're saying, Matt? Because I, I, I and if you change on this, it's fine. People change. People change their mind. But I thought, and it's fine if you did. I just thought, like I thought when we last had you know the whole brain in the vat, you know, discussions were going on. I thought you did it. I thought you did admit that you could be, you were psychologically certain, but not epistemically. I thought you said that you could be wrong. Um, I have been no, no, just infuriated by the dishonesty from Christians it's logically on this possible. app. I've been infuriated by it. It's just I, overwhelmingly I, disgusting. I said it's logically possible, I, and Hades here, she heard me say it multiple times. I said it's logically possible that I'm a brain yeah. in a vat. I never said once that I believe I'm a brain in a vat. No, no I know you don't you believe it. No. But you believe you could be. That's what logically right. possible means. No, I said it's be. logically it possible mean you that are. I could be. I don't believe it. Just like Tom doesn't believe it, even though it's logically possible. That, we, so, Tom and so I agree on that. You could believe you're not a brain in a vat, right? Correct. I believe but I'm not a brain in a vat. Never believed fine. I was a brain But also, it's logically possible. Correct. But I don't think it's physically possible. some, like, possible. crazy... Well, you know, metaphysically, yeah, or, I have the belief I'm not afraid in a vat, but I could be wrong in it under a logical yeah. modality. Yeah, That's but cool. it's not, you're not giving anything up if you just say that. No, I mean, but you're saying that you couldn't be deceived. I know I am epistemically certain that I'm not a brain in a vat. How's that? Well, you're a fabulous, honey. Certainty is just fucking your confidence. Fuck off with your confidence. Okay, then well, uh, yeah, you're talking about, you're talking about, about psychological. Well, certain <laughs> that I am not a brain in a vat. How's that? Who yeah. gives a fuck? Well, well, I mean, well, Tom. Okay, Tom. I've seen the distinctions. I've seen the distinctions. Yeah, I've seen the distinctions between psychological certainty and epistemic. And psychological has to do with your confidence level, and this may not be widely accepted, but I've certainly seen this distinction. Psychologically uh, certain is just your confidence level. Epistemically means you could not be wrong. And so when he says he's epistemically certain, he's saying that he cannot be wrong. And I, I'm hey, just hey. saying if he's saying. If he's saying it's logically possible, then um, what, uh, under what modality is it not possible? Matt, are you saying it's not physically possible or metaphysically, or what? What are you? What are you saying? Well, whatever you guys think metaphysically possible is, I don't really know because you, I don't really know yeah. what that. Oh, I don't know either. You guys don't know. Uh, how about? But how I about this, say, Matt? Matt, let I me try this. Matt, hey, Matt, me... possible, but it's not physically possible. Matt, let me try this. Let me try this. Do you think? that it's possible for somebody to be epistemically certain they're not a brain in a vat, yet still be a brain in a vat. I think that means he couldn't be wrong, though. I think that's a, I don't think that, I don't know if that works, Brendan, because I think that means he just what was he the cannot question? be wrong. The question was, could somebody be certain epistemically that they are not a brain in a vat, Nevertheless, actually, be a brain. In I don't vat. think so. No. Yeah, I don't think so either. You don't think that's possible? No, I don't think it's possible to be a brain in a vat at all. It's absolutely possible. I don't think it's absolutely possible. I think possible. this is just like um, kind of a comic book idea at the moment. No, I think that a person can be certain they are not a brain in a vat and still actually be a brain in a vat. I think that is logically possible. Yeah, I just, I mean, I just don't think we have the technology to do it. That's why I don't think it's possible. 
That's not as the technology to be able to do that is irrelevant. We're assuming well, that we have the. Well, it's ability. relevant to me because that's how I would gauge my confidence level. Yeah, but the t- look, I pointed this out earlier. I mean, it's so stupid. Look, in a brain in a vet scenario, the level of technology that is attainable or available actually in the physical world at the time is not necessarily tied to what you experience in the matrix, right? Duh. I Imagine if I sent you if I, if I send you in a if you're in a if you're if you're in a matrix and the, the setting if you just bad. shut the fuck up for a second shut the fuck up I could be deceived by a demon if 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 you're if it is the case that in the matrix the setting is 1920 how fucking stupid do you have to fucking be where you're looking around at model T's and you're like oh this couldn't be a matrix because this technology isn't available you fucking idiot. Well, you're asking me my confidence level. My confidence level includes that I don't think it's technologically possible. So whether I'm a, so it, if I'm going to go by my confidence level, then obviously I'm going to include nobody's our, asking about our inability level. to Quit do saying that. that. Quit saying that. I mean, that's all. Nobody, I'm saying. Quit. Nobody's asking about your confidence. Oh, okay. Level. I thought you Nobody. guys were. My bad. You're fucking dumb. Well, my apologies. Yeah, Matt, somebody could be in the Matrix in a simulation of the 1920s and be 100% confident they are not in the Matrix. Nevertheless, they could still be in oh, the okay. Matrix. Matt, Matt, I figured out a way out of the vat. I have a syllogism. Do you want to hear it? Mm, nah, not really, because I, I mean, I just don't believe I'm a brain fat, so. I'd- well, that's fine. I'll share it with everybody else. Okay, okay. premise one. One must have a brain to be a brain in a vat. Premise two, Matt lacks a brain. Conclusion, therefore, Matt is not a brain in a vat. Based. Nice. But yeah, I mean, I... I just, yeah, but I still, think it's, I, think, I still think it's possible that Matt is just a vat. Well, I can't argue that. I did just he want to go back real quick vat. before I retire. That means that we're all in the vat with Matt. To what Brenda said. In the vat with Matt. To what Brenda said earlier. I just wondered, Brenda, once she got... Matt the is the vat. God, what would be her falsification <laughs> process to oh, show that she was wrong? in the vat. Oh, it all makes sense. Now. I don't know. But, 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 yo, Matt, guess what, dude? I'm, I'm psychologically certain that the Christian God is false. Do you give a fuck? No. Yeah, so how how much of a fuck do you think I give about your psychological certainty? Zero. Yeah, so shut the fuck up about that. All I know is, Tom, when you appealed to your faith because you realized you couldn't get out of it, I'm doing the exact same thing. And you can't do anything to criticize me because I put you in a corner that forced you to do do the same thing. So when I say... (laughs) Na, 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 na. I have no fucking idea. I was going to say, what is he talking about, Tom? I'm not in a brain and fat. This the I know you are, but what am I argument? I think was it Plato or Plotinus that came up with it? Problem. Or yeah, but you yeah. I'm uh, rubber, possibly. but you're glue, whatever you oh, say. Oh, you mean the fallacy, Matt? Matt, Matt you mean the fallacy? Oh, yeah, two quote No, That's this right. is not a, a two quote, two quote, whatever you call it. Because if you believe... Somehow he's going to special out of two quote If you believe that this is problematic for someone else and yet you fall susceptible to it, then you should be skeptical yourself of any belief that you have that falls susceptible to the same thing. So it's not the two clue, whatever right. you call it. I, I am skeptical, Matt. I could be a brain in a vat. Okay. My beliefs could okay. be wrong. I, it could be the case that uh, 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 Muhammad is the prophet of Allah, or Jesus is the prophet of God, or the son of God, or Thor is the son of Odin. I, those all could be true. So I am. I, I don't have a hundred percent certainty. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, retire for today because it's my bedtime.